All right, welcome to the Sweet Talk. Today is Thursday, August 29th. Oh my goodness, 2019. Um, I am your host, Kim Matina. Uh, it is about nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time in the morning. And I wanted to give you a quick show today about um, my experience at the Grow With Google Learning Center in New York and um, what I learned and how you can use it um, in your classroom. So I'm going solo today. Um, so I think it's important for people to know about this so um, uh, you know that you got to take advantage of it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to share my screen. And the first thing that I want to show you is um, this Grow with Google. Uh, Grow with Google is a learning center in New York City at the uh, New York City headquarters. And basically, it is a space that they're giving back to the community. Um, this is an area where they're giving free classes and workshops um, to people that can acquire uh, important uh, workforce skills such as problem solving, um, critical thinking, working together, communication, collaboration. Um, as we say in education, the four C's of education, but a lot of the um, employers out there in the business world are looking for these uh, important skills as well. Uh, so it's important to introduce these skills to our students early on and um, to continue to in, in, you know, support these skills, Google created a learning center which offers different classes. So if you go to, um, if you just Google um, Grow with Google, it will come up with a website result, uh, results. And uh, you can uh, certainly go to that website. The one that I'm showing right now is eventswithgoogle.com. And you can see here, they have um, different locations. Um, they have different hours for all the classes that are being scheduled. They have a class schedule here as well, so that you can actually go through um, and search for a schedule on a specific day, or you can filter it out. <clears throat> you can sign up for workshops. Uh, you can only sign up for three at one time. So just keep that in mind. Um, the workshops here are available for people who want to learn how to grow their business on YouTube, to make their website better, um, to make better business decisions, um, you know, things like that, as well as, um, you know, teaching people how to create a resume, how to uh, improve your job search using uh, Google search tools. There's so much here um, for people to take advantage of. For educators, and that's what I'm going to talk to uh, toward about toward today, um, is how we can bring uh, digital skills into our classroom and teach students the skills that they need to know so that they're marketable um, when they graduate high school or college so that they have the skills that they need to be productive in the work workforce. So this is the workshop, uh, the, the uh, website, and um, you can register and you can figure out which workshops you can take. Like I said, there's, um, you, there's a limit on the number of workshops you can take at one time. So just sign up for three, and then when you're done taking, um, a, a workshop, then you can sign up for another one after that, but there's only three workshops at one time allowed. So the workshop that I went to um, this past week was basically um, bringing digital skills into your classroom. So um, to bring digital skills into your classroom, we were talking about the um, applied digital skills um, application that Google has. So if you go to apply digital skills dot with Google dot com, you will be able to um, sign up if you don't have an account or you can sign in. So I'm going to click sign in 
and it's going to bring me to a dashboard and this dashboard is very similar to uh, Google Classroom um, and CS First where you're going to be able to create classes and have students uh, join your class using a class code. Um, you can select um, up at the top uh, curriculum and in this curriculum this is where I really want to show you um, what this applied digital skills is all about. Uh, you can come down here and you can see there's 76 lessons that you can pick from and uh, it tells you here um, the name of the lesson and it gives you about a time period or how long it's going to take to complete. It gives you a breakdown of the skills that are included in this activity or lesson who it targets, so elementary, middle school, or high school, and what apps they're basically targeting. And this um, if then adventure story, they're targeting docs and slides. So you can actually click view if you wanted to, and you can see here that um, they have everything laid out with videos and uh, surveys and different activities that the student can um, can do. You, the teacher really doesn't have to do um, anything with regards to setting this up. All of the material is here. So if I wanted to click on this video and learn about um, an introduction to the If Then Adventure Stories, I can just click on it and it's going to bring up a video and it's going to um, allow me to watch the video and it's going to allow me to uh, advance to the next uh, task in the instruction uh, you know so th everything is here for the teacher um, there's really nothing that the teacher has to reinvent um, if your students do have um, special needs uh, there is a transcript here that can be um, expanded and students can read the screen they can also change the playback speed of the video if they need it to slow it down or make it quicker as well. But this is a nice, um, nice way to accommodate uh, different, different learners. Uh, so I'm going to go back. So this is just um, basically the lessons that and the activities that are included in this if then adventure story uh, lesson. I can also click on the lesson plans and the lesson plans uh, open up a Google Doc and you can see in here that um, there's learning objectives in here, the, the total duration, the materials needed, everything is laid out for the teacher. So all you really have to do is go through it, read it, see if it's applicable for your students or for your class and just assign it to them. And the nice thing about this is you can assign it, um, it right in Google Classroom and I will go over that in a minute. Um, after you check out the lesson plans for this activity, uh, you can go back and you can see that there's a rubric here attached to this um, activity or lesson. And you can see here that the, the rubric is very well laid out. It gives a lot of details. It has everything broken up by uh, projects and level of performance. So all of the information is given to you. Uh, the only thing that you need to do is really look through it to see if it's applicable for your class. In addition to this rubric, it does give you, um, excuse me, I just have to turn my phone off. Um, it does give you a tab at the bottom and, ex and to explain to you how the rubric um, should be used in uh, this activity or lesson. So everything is really here. They, they've given the educator uh, a nice resource where educators really do not have to recreate the wheel. Um, if I wanted to take this lesson and share it to my class, uh, you can see right here I have a share to classroom uh, icon. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to allow me to attach this if then adventure to a class in Google Classroom. So I can create an assignment and 
it fills everything in for me. I do not have to put in a title. I do not have to put in instructions if I don't want to. Um, it attaches the link. I can create a topic for it if I wanted to. Um, and I'm just going to click assign. And basically that's it. So if you know you're going to be um, out for a day or two and you want your students to continue learning um, through um, digital content, Apply Digital Skills is a great resource um, to go through. I would highly recommend it. Uh, it also goes through, um, you can filter by your audience. So if you're just gonna, if you teach middle school, uh, you can filter on middle school um, lessons and it will display um, what it found here. Um, you can also scroll through and filter out by specific apps that you want to target. So if you wanted to, you know, target maybe Google Drawings, um, you can do that as well. Uh, there's different topics that you can pick from here. So you can really filter out and narrow down what you're really looking for. Um, the nice thing that I like about this is you can teach your students about research and how to research on internet. And so I'm going to filter by topic and you can um, filter out by online safety, study skills, uh, job skills. So let's go into study skills and see if research shows up in here. So I filtered it out and let me refresh my screen It's running a little slow and it shows four lessons um, that uh, apply to study skills. So if I wanted to, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back. I want to find, all right, I'm going to just, here, research and develop a topic. You can do that. But I wanted to, let me scroll down to the bottom because I'm not finding the lesson that I'm looking for. So here there's research and writing and it, and it focuses on document format formatting, research publications, writing strategies, and this is for adult learners, which you can certainly do in high school as well, and differentiate your, um, your students. Um, hold on, let me see if I can find it at the bottom. It might be at the bottom. No, I can't find it. But there was something in here um, to teach online safety. Um, and you can certainly do that where students can learn um, about digital etiquette and being safe online. Also, there is um, G Suite certification. So students can take um, this course or this lesson and then apply it to um, the G Suite st student certification so that when they're done with school and they graduate high school, they can come out with some type of certification and add that to their, um, maybe their college application or even have it on their resume so that they have these skills and they're marketable for, um, you know, college or um, for the workforce. So these uh, G Suite certification lessons are very valuable as well. Um, so again, I would definitely um, recommend looking into this, uh, apply digital skills. I would definitely um, utilize it. Uh, it. It gives so much information here and, and you can go through and actually see which um, lessons are applicable for your class and just assign it through Google Classroom. Um, and that concludes my show for today. Um, so what I'm going to do real quick is
go to my website, thesweettalk.com. That's the, S-U-I-T-E, talk.com. And you can watch um, the latest episode, which would be posted on my homepage. You can also be a guest on my show. Just fill out the guest form, and I will get back to you with a schedule. You can also check out any trending episodes here as well. And subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel, join my Facebook group, join my newsletter, and you can also listen to my show on uh, Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, and Google Podcasts as well. So I hope that you found the show helpful. Uh, I wanted to pass this along to you uh, before school started so that hopefully you can browse through the curriculum select a few lessons and try to align it as best as you can with your class, especially, um, you know, in, in K-12, there's definitely, there's so many resources there for you. Um, so if you have any questions, you can always contact me. I, I'll try to help you out. Um, but I know I will be definitely recommending this application to uh, staff at my school as well. So until next time, have a great day. Bye.